So the first apartment that we saw in uh, Trang was located uh, right in the middle between the northern part and the central Natrang. It's actually like on a secluded island and we had very high hopes for it and you will see why. So when we found it online in the description we could see that it's basically in a private resort. So there is all the facilities of the resort like the beautiful pool and the open gym and the buildings themselves were right in between beautiful mountains so and the reviews the most important the reviews were fantastic so we were already seeing ourselves living there and then we got showed a couple of apartments so you can see in the first one there was a washing machine a small kitchenette and this is one of the bedrooms and the view outside is really nice it's not a high rise so you can see the river, you can see a bit of the mountains. It was really nice. And the second one was uh, uh, one bedroom, but the view here was even nicer. You can see again the lake and the mountains. And finally, the kitchen table is actually next to the window, not in the dark zone. The bathroom looked really modern and nice. But uh, here you can see the couch area is uh, right next to the entrance, basically. And the couch itself is rather small. So yeah, these first two apartments, they are for 10 million. And that does not include all the bills. So on top of that 10 million, you will also pay 2 million extra at the end of the month. And the part that really was disappointing for us that price actually doesn't include the pool and doesn't include the gym and when we tried to ask so actually how much are the pool and the gym first we heard something like five million and then they were not sure they would have to ask and at the reception there was no one to ask so in the end we couldn't find that information but already the 10 million plus 2 million seemed a bit expensive because those apartments basically did not fit all our needs. Basically one of them uh, you saw didn't have a table next to the window. It's only the bedroom that has a nice view and you don't spend much time in the bedroom. You spend more time in the living room. And the couch is again next to the entrance. So basically when you are at home, you only sit on the couch or sit at the table and they were not next to the window. And the second one, there was a table next to the window, but it was also on a sunny side. And if you ever lived in a country where it's hot during the summer, especially, if you are on the sunny side, it gets too hot, you close your windows because uh, it's, the room is overheating, basically. So in the end, in both of those rooms, they were relatively pricey for Vietnam, but basically we would have had had to either sit in a darker part of the room or always close our windows. One of the rooms didn't have the closet. So, you know, it's the little things that you want to be already fixed and set up for you when you are staying only for one month. And we did think maybe we could stay longer, maybe two, three months, but still, when you're not stay staying for the full year, it's just uh, too much work to do to arrange all the little things. So you want to, them to be there when you are already moving in. That's why we are paying attention to those things. And finally, we are shown the third room and it's actually cheaper for 9 million. But the first thing you see is that the table and the couch again right next to the entrance in the dark zone. There is a good kitchenette and the washing machine, which is really good. And you see the bedroom is nice, although in this one there is no window. And the bathroom is quite modern, also good. Nice big fridge. Here you see that area at the entrance. And the second bedroom that's the nice part of the apartment actually you can see there is a really nice view on the window again to the river uh, to the city but it's again the same issue i think that's uh, in general here that we see in vietnam it's with the planning with the planning itself so the room is planned that way that the best view that the apartment has is basically uh, at the bedroom and it is nice to wake up and open your windows and see this beautiful view. I mean, it's 
uh, not something that you get in uh, any any city especially here in a trunk uh, the views are awesome but if you're not there just for one or two nights if you're living there then most of your time that you're inside the apartment you're not spending it in the bedroom you wake up and you leave it and then you go there at night most of your time you spend in the living room either at the table or on the couch and you want those things to be in a good part of the apartment next to a window next to a beautiful view basically if we were to plan such a room we would put the bedroom more in the darker zone and the living room and the kitchen and the table next to the window with a good view but of course we cannot do that but this was the problem with that complex and to not to jump too far in the video, but you will see that it's quite a common problem in other apartments as well, that it's planned just the opposite way. It's like someone who planned it never thought to live at how people will be living there. Even though we really like the apartment complex itself and it feels really relaxing there because it's kind of secluded and you have that area for you and other people who live in the same building or having a holiday there and you can walk there, you can relax there uh, there is a fitness center right outside in the open next to a pool it felt really nice and I would say that if I was here for example on a short holiday a week I think staying there would be quite good but overall, for the price, it would be about $500 without pool and the gym, all things included. So for that price in the trunk, we at that moment especially thought we will, were going to have something better. Something uh, not even better, something that would better suit our needs. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Olga and together with my husband Rene, we spent one year in Turkey and right now we are traveling in Southeast Asia and making videos for people who are like us wanting to relocate. So we took a taxi to the central part of the city and really quick we found uh, another apartments for rent. They were right next to the beach. And as you can see, the beach and the promenade uh, in Natrang, they are really beautiful. So it's really tempting to live right next to the beach. And the apartments that we found, the building itself, the lower floors is the hotel and the higher floors are the apartments. But what was a bit disappointing from the start with these apartments is that the entrance was uh, of course not the main hotel entrance, which is nice and fancy, but it was a bit to the side and when we came there we already saw that the entrance is small and there are many people coming in and out it's a bit messy and the most uh, disappointing thing was the smell like uh, even without seeing the apartments themselves if at the entrance you can feel some bad smells you already don't want to be coming in and out there but let me show you the apartments themselves we were shown several apartments and uh, all of them had the same positive sides and the same negative sides basically and uh, all of them were two bedrooms for example this is one bedroom and uh, it will have a, it would have a window but the window is to the corridor basically so you have to shut the curtains all the time and because the window is of course thinner than a wall then you would have noise problems if you are staying in this bedroom so this is basically the living room it's a table that is facing the wall Wall, a small kitchenette again in a darker zone of the apartment this is the bathroom and uh, the nice area of the apartment is again this is a small laundry and this is the bedroom so it has a really nice view to the city to the mountains and again I wish this was the living room actually and not the bedroom this is the second apartment it's quite similar it has one bedroom and another bed is right next to the window in the living room this is the separate bedroom again it's in uh, a separate room but the window that you see uh, the curtains are shut on the left this window is right next to the corridor so that again will create uh, some noises when people are coming in and out and because it's a window it's thin hence the noise hence you never open it and for me it was really unclear like why is that window there in every room that we're shown in this building always uh, that that window like what's the purpose of it 
<laughs> I mean, maybe it's a cultural difference. Maybe this is how people are more used to living here with a window to the corridor in their bedroom. But for me, it was really like absolutely not necessary. And if you're a local watching this video, please tell us why is it like this? It's really a mystery for me. <laughs> This is the bathroom and here again, uh, for me, it's really, the planning of it is really strange. Why is the shower in between the sink and the toilet? Like, why? <laughs> it feels really like against the logic, but it is what it is. We didn't like it, we moved on. This is how the room looks itself. You can see it has a table that's in the middle of the room and it is getting, because of it, some light, which is already better than we saw before when the table was just next to the wall. You can see the, the small couch. It's not the best one, but it's there. It's good. The walls, uh, you can see, already have some stains, so you can see that these rooms, they've been lived in. And another really curious thing for me, uh, the bed, the, it's again in the best area of the apartment itself, in the best zone of the apartment, right next to the window. But you can also see in the corner there is a washing machine. So, for example, if you didn't start your wash during the day, if you started just in the evening then and you're sleeping on this bed, basically, uh, like, yeah, you're listening to the washing machine doing what it's doing. <laughs> that must be fun. <laughs> Yeah, again, I understand that this is done out of necessity because there is just not enough space in the apartment, there was not enough space to put it, but with putting it there, you don't really think about people who will be living in this apartment. This is just not practical to me at all. But as you can see, the window, it's uh, what, why we came to, the, to check out this building. It is on the sea, you can see the islands and you can see the shore out of this window and it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. So for, to me, nothing beats this view, but uh, yeah, in the end, even this view cannot convince us to live in this apartment. And the price of it, uh, of those apartments, again, it was about nine, nine and a half million plus uh, all the utilities, which would total uh, to about a million or two millions. And because we were looking at these apartments uh, through online, through Airbnb, uh, there they didn't tell us that we have to pay any deposit or any extra commission. And that's important because uh, next apartments, we found them through Telegram chats, Telegram groups. So there the conditions would be a bit different. So yeah, after seeing those apartments, uh, we were a bit disappointed because we did really have high hopes and we thought that it would be quick and easy, we would just find something. So we came here to the beach to kind of relax a bit and talk it over, see what other options we would have. If I'm honest, we were a bit kind of desperate, I mean, but yeah, this is just a human trait. We expect things to be over quick and easy, especially when we see pretty pictures. We think we will come, everything will be great. We rented it, we're happy. But yeah, the reality is rarely like that. So yeah, let's uh, see other apartments. And in this apartment complex, it's really big. As you can see, there are several towers and there, uh, this apartment is in the north of Natrang. It's still quite close uh, by bike to the city center. And, but actually you can see that all the infrastructure is there, all the shops, cafes, uh, supermarket even. So you actually don't really need to live there. And uh, uh, to compare it with the previous one, when we step inside, there are nice elevators and it's not so crowded. It's not so small, so to say. The entrance is big. There are no smells, no nothing. It's again right next to the beach. So let's take a look at the first apartment. And here uh, something that we really like is uh, the big couch. But again, it's next to the entrance because there is limited space, of course, in the apartment. It's again two bedroom and here you can see the living room area. And the first disadvantage is that even though the table is quite close to the window, but you can still see that the view is next to the wall. 
So that's the disadvantage, especially compared to some other apartments that we saw. And another disadvantage is there are two bedrooms and two bathrooms that are just the same like this. So you can see they are really tiny. So that's definitely a downside. And this is one of the bedrooms. And yeah, again, the same thing. It has a really great view on the sea. You see it and it's just fantastic view once in a lifetime. And, uh, but again, it is in the bedroom. It is in the area where you actually don't really spend so much time in. And as you saw before, the living area is with a view on the wall. So this is the second bedroom. And the same thing again, the window is to the corridor. And yeah, it puzzles me. I see it in another building and like, why? What's up with that window? Why does it need to be there? <laughs> Please let me know if you know. Yeah, and uh, another positive side on, of this apartment is there is a small balcony and your own washer and a nice view when you do your laundry. So we decided to see another apartment in the same building. Here I do like the planning a bit more. You can see there is a couch right next to the window. There is just, it feels like there is more light in this apartment. This is one of the bedrooms and it's quite spa spacious, especially if I compare it to the ones we saw before. But unfortunately the view here is not on the sea and the apartment itself on a lower floor. So you don't get that fantastic sea view even from your bedroom in this apartment. And the price of them was similar to the previous ones. It was about nine, nine and a half million. Plus of course the utilities, which is about million, million and a half maybe. So yeah, and again, we decided to check out the sea in this area, the beach. And you can see they also have a nice promenade here. So overall, it would be a nice area to live. I mean, all the infrastructure, the beach is good. But unfortunately for us, again, the apartments were not exactly what we wanted. So we could settle there, but we decided to check out what's, what else is there. So in a Telegram group, I found a group dedicated to rentals in Natrang. I messaged one of the women that was advertising the apartments. At that point, we were getting a bit desperate, so we were willing to settle even for a studio. In the beginning, we really wanted a one bedroom, but we thought if uh, all the one bedrooms are planned like that, <laughs> We better rent just a studio with, uh, with a nice view. Here we were shown three apartments and all of them are studios and they are basically the same with a bit of a different view and a bit of a different furniture. The prices for them was also similar. It was from 9 million to 10 and a half million. Although there were some extra payments and I will tell you about them a bit later. So the first apartment is uh, is like this it has a nice sea view but as you can see the furniture is wooden it did have this wooden smell so depending on if you like it or not we didn't like so much the smell itself the first thing that we saw in this apartment of course is the just mesmerizing amazing awesome sea view and yeah you do want to spend some time in an apartment like this but again this is the studio and uh, it costs the same money or even a bit higher than the two bedrooms that we saw before. But the, what was different about these apartments that we noticed is that inside the furniture and everything, it was cleaner, it was newer. So that instantly attracted us, especially when, on the contrast with what we saw previously. So this is the second room that we saw. And here it had a bigger couch but unfortunately it only had a really small table and the view was on the sunny side and as I told you before the room is overheating that's why actually why the curtains are drawn and uh, the view is not to the sea not directly to the sea but to the sports field and that suggests the noise during the games and these two apartments were 9 million and the third one that I'm showing you now is 10 and a half million so it's more expensive but uh, you can see it does look nicer with the white and gray furniture and uh, we were told that uh, people only lived in it for about a week so it's basically new and you can see the bathroom it's really modern but it is the same as in the previous uh, rooms in this in this apartment complex 
and overall you can see everything nice and neat and it is a direct sea view and here we have a nice table and on the balcony we again have a washing machine and this is the view and by walk it's about only five minute walk to the beach yeah so you might have guessed that we did choose this apartment but it did come with some drama <laughs> so if we are returned 1 million of the deposit then we pay 13 million point 25 which amounts to 560 dollars and if we are not returned the deposit at all it would be 600 dollars in total and it might seem like uh, not very high price for such a great view and a new apartment and i would agree if uh, i didn't know the prices in general in vietnam and in natrang because i do know that people rent here long term for about something like six million and it's quite a decent apartment it doesn't have a sea view like this but it's still quite decent and it's one or two bedrooms or sometimes it's even a house that's just further away from the city center and that makes it 250 350 dollars a month so you see if you compare it to that price we are already paying double but we decided to pay it for the niceness of this apartment, for uh, the clean cleanliness, for the sea view. So overall, we are happy that we have it and we are in the end okay with the price. Although in the future, we would probably learn from our mistakes and try to get uh, to the bottom of it, to exactly how much we are paying for what. So there is no misunderstanding with that. And... Uh, Yes, even though this apartment is almost perfect, maybe not in size, but with the sea view it's perfect.